how are you feeling from the last visit? I haven't had the Start. urge to crack my neck. Like, oh, all right. Yeah. So, so that that's a plus. Yeah, because I remember the right side of your neck didn't go last time. Yes. Because you cracked it yourself. Mm -hmm. I still have pain, but not nearly as much. I gave you kind of what I call a medium treatment last time. Okay. So this time, I'm going to see how much more you can handle. I just need to make sure before I work on you again, okay. I'm going to just press here that you can handle another adjustment or another treatment. Definitely. Is that sore when I press on no. it like that? Yeah, this isn't like sore to the touch because if I go in here and dig again I don't want it to be sore from the last time so I got to give it enough days in between but not wait too long before things come back again now any low back pain just the left because I still feel like we have work to do here mm -hmm. this is still you're supposed to have a curve in your low back and the muscles are really pulling the spine this way yeah. towards me so I still have to work here a little bit more. All right, on your back. I didn't think you were like, uh oh. Oh, it's the headpiece. And I mean, yeah, you still have a right atlas right here. This is what I tried to crack last time and then we couldn't do it. I, I had like pain at like the base of the skull on the right side. Okay, well that's what I feel right here. Like all of this is so swollen, but some people can't feel that, you know? Yeah, right here, that's just... Is that why you kept trying to crack it? Well, I always had, like, the urge, like, to crack it. If I didn't crack it, I would be in so much pain. Okay, well, so, see, there's a, there's one step forward, then. You haven't had the urge to crack your neck <laughs> in four days. He's just, from right here, the base of his skull down to C2, he's really, really swollen. And I, that's why you didn't have torticollis when you were little. No, I don't even know what that is. Your head's like kind of leaning over to one way. No. Because um, babies with torticollis will also have a really huge, like a lot of swelling at the base of their skull on the right hand side. And then this muscle will be really, really cramped. And I'm wondering if maybe you had a mild case of it when you were little. Because I'm not sure if you can tell this on the front here is looser. Mm -hmm. This SCM muscle than this over here. Right there is just really tight on you. And then over here, it's like really loose. But then I go to the back. Ah! You want to try adjusting it? You ready? Let's see if we can get it to move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Because that will give me a big clearing here. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. That's the way that's supposed to go. Awesome. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Right here. There it is. I can tell you did not crack your neck. Thank you. <laughs> My subscribers, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can you feel the swelling over here? You definitely can. Right where your thumb's at. Yeah. I'm right at his um, C1, posterior arch here, C1. Yeah, that, that's just... Like, I've, I've tried massaging that, like, that part where your thumb's at, but it just yeah. would never go away. Are you a stomach sleeper? Kind of. If you've if you're got your head turned towards the left and you're going like that, it will fill up with fluid on that side. It can cause you headaches and we call them cervicogenic headaches. And then here, here we go. Here's the last one. Just pull that tissue around. Just dig the tips of my fingers right into it. <laughs> See if I can't break up that scar tissue. You see how you got a lot of edema up here and little tiny granular tissue. That's like night and day since last time. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. You couldn't improvement. crack it last time, could you? No, I couldn't get it to move at all. Okay, proprioception. Above down. Back up again. Woo. Already got that one. Nope. There we go. I like this table a little better because you can reach over head and grab onto the table. Yeah, the other one isn't as sturdy. So you can't do that as well <laughs> on the other <laughs> table. Uh oh. Relax. There it is. I knew you had it in you. Okay. Hip, hold on. Oh. 
That's it. That hip is tight, okay? <laughs> and then this left hip's tight. The hip joint. See how easy that came in and out? Mm -hmm. You can feel that. I definitely felt that. Now here, this is usually the posterior ilium. I can't get it, okay? So I usually have to work more on this okay. side, soft tissue wise. Yeah, you can relax than than this than this side. That's gonna take me a little bit of work to get those to right. move, okay? Without knocking the wind out of you. <laughs> All right. That's the fun part, though. I, I'd have to walk on you and jump on it. <laughs> I like this table. I forgot how much I like this table. I can do some really cool moves on it. So what's the difference? It's lower and it's skinnier. I have more pressure. I have more power. So I can use my weight. And I forget how much I like this one. But the other one's more comfy, you know? It's like, oh, it's like a little cloud. <laughs> So you have a lot of endurance, let's put it that way. I can tell your muscles are trained for endurance. Oh, there we go. You're not like, you know, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym, work out for an hour or two and I'm done. This is like, <laughs> this muscle came from like all day work. Okay, a little bit different. It's more difficult to work on denser muscle. So even though you might think that like the big 250 pound guy would be harder to work on, you're actually harder to work on because the muscle is more compact. It's crazy. Yeah, they're like filled with water, some of those guys. You just squish their muscle and you go right through it. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> it's like, you know, SpongeBob when he blows up the muscle. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's like, I don't know if they're real. This is real. This is, oh man, on the right hand side, right there. You know, sometimes you'll see me work here on people, here, him, right here. It's fighting you back. It's like, no. Yeah, it wants to fight me. That's okay. I really don't want to go down. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get it to loosen up. I just want to say this before I forget. So I scraped him about four days ago, and this is what it looks like after four days. Looks like, like it's starting to heal. Okay, now this is from the roller that I just did. Oh yeah, that's it. Ugh, we used the meat tenderizer. Now we, <laughs> we come through and we smooth it out. Let's see if I can get down into those vertebrae. This was just really locked on you when you came in today. Starting to look similar to the other side. And then what happens is as this starts to normalize, I start to see above it. Here's the compensation over here that I missed with the green roller. So how can you tell, visual or just Vi visual? Visually, yes. So right here. Now this, I'm not sure if you can tell. It's, uh, I can feel it. It's like, mm -hmm. it makes little it's jumps. Like, it's like knots. He was an aviation mechanic. So all in different weird positions. Using his arms and I think that that just, uh, you know caused a lot of granulation whereas I don't feel too much grainy tissue right here this is just stress induced but this is from repetitive motion up here all right you ready breathe mm -hmm. in yep, as he exhales I can get a little bit more in there. There you go. And again. Oh, all right, you're done. Yeah, this whole infraspinatus here. I'm surprised. I'm assuming you're right-handed, right? Yes. Now I see this other bruise I left here. I'm kind of like, hmm.
so the more common people with the um, dominant when, hand side? Or yes, usually side? the dominant side, which was the right side, will come out bruised. Okay. That's why I usually just have the camera positioned right here because I know that it's going to come out on that side. <laughs> you know, but you're on the left. So either you're bracing yourself with your left hand. I mean, for the longest time, I had to compensate for my right hand due to the torn tendon. Oh, okay. That's right. And so I had to learn how to write with my left hand. Mm. Very, very hard. See, the muscles don't lie. The scraping, the <laughs> petechiae don't lie. It's like the truth will be revealed eventually at some point. Does it still bother you, that wrist? Every now and then. I think it like depends on what activity I'm doing and the temperature. Because during colder weather, it does bother me a little bit. Okay. See, this is just fluid. I need to come in here and push and squeeze that fluid out. Take it one vertebrae at a time. Oh, this is my steering wheel move. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I kind of wiggle no, the joint. Feel, I, you, I know you can it. feel it, but I kind of like, like I'm driving. <laughs> Joints like to be wiggled. It's like opening up a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> You never know what is underneath there. But you try to get as much of the history as you can from a person. But you really never know how bad it's going to be until you start working on them. Like, see that there? Yeah. <laughs> Camera girl's laughing at me. Wait, that's the blanket. Is that like a dinosaur? <laughs> One of those miniature ones. Velociraptor. Yes. Oh, I just know that this was me. If it, like we were trading places, I would be <laughs> in a lot of pain. I'll tell you, I'm in pain, but when you're used to pain for years, you kind of get like just get used to it. I mean, it takes some time getting used to learning to ignore it. And then when I tell doctors that I'm really high pain tolerance, they look at me like I'm stupid. No, I can tell. You're letting me go pretty deep, but he's not even flinching. Most guys are, oh, you know, flinching at this kind of stuff, and he's not even, his muscles aren't even fasciculating like that. Uh, okay, now let's find out. Again, let's see how this side's doing. I'm not usually able to do this on the black table. Why is that? It's too high and too wide. I can't, I'll hurt my back. I will not. I could do this all day long. I will not hurt my back. If I did this, that would hurt my back. But I'm here, head, chin back, chest out, curving my back. There's no way I can herniate any discs here. Ooh, there's another one. See this side? I'm like going right into a scapula. There's a, virtually no scar tissue here. And it might be from the atrophy here, but I don't think so. No, there's just nothing here. Watch, right here, not as sore as this. Yeah. All right, I can tell you have a problem right here just by looking at it. But now the first time I ever looked at a patient, did I know what I was looking at? No. You have to train your eyes to notice slight variations. You can memorize, you can try to memorize all the different patterns. There's too many variables. There's just too many. What did she say in The Incredibles? I didn't know the baby superpower, so I covered all the bases. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna find, so I covered all the bases. <laughs> I have to always throw a movie comment in there. Sorry. <laughs> if you've watched my YouTube videos, there's always a movie reference in every single one. <laughs> so I did the last YouTube video I had, The Joker. He goes, da da. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably I, not doing a good no, impersonation. You're, you're not. He goes, da da. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we gotta do it like The Joker. Da da. <laughs> so anyway, people are like, I don't know what that's from. Why did you put Heath Fletcher there? Is that where your patients are like, 
You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> so my reply is, why so serious? Oh, too many Marvel. Oh, wait, that's DC. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> references, references. But women usually will pick apart, like, that shirt doesn't match. <laughs> you know, guys just like, I don't really care. Yeah, from a guy's perspective, I can tell you. You don't care. <laughs> no. That's exactly how it is. Like, literally, I just close my eyes, grab something, and I would wear it. Yeah, that's how I was in my first YouTube videos. And I could get away with it because all I wore was black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm doing things out of regular order. Oh, I just popped your vest. I did yep. not mean to do that. <laughs> this is the good rest, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Over here. No, come on. We're going to be like on your back. On. All right. But so yeah. This way? yeah. Yeah, yeah, There you go. Okay. Now I'm going to use this so I don't slip off of you. Now you can put that. I know. People are like, where do I put my hands? I'm just going to be a puppet. And back. This is your loose side. Definitely your loose side. Other side. I'm gonna be here for a little bit, so go ahead and take like be comfortable. Okay. So I've got to work on several different things in this position. Bottom leg straight for me. Top leg bent. There you go. Turn. Got. Oh. Perfect. There's that nice puttier. Okay. I'm done with that. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, you should look at his face. He's like, just. He's falling. And then he got like... really quiet, so I was like, wait a second. <laughs> really quiet. Dang it. All right, I was going to try to catch it. I waited too. I didn't wait long enough. <laughs> it's like, nobody's ever fallen asleep before on an IT band work. All up here in the TFL. Oh, hello. Here we go. All right, that, that let go. Now, arm over your head for this one. I wonder if I'll get copyrighted if I say. Hit me with your best shot, you know? Just sing it on tune. If I sing it on key, I might get copyright strike, <laughs> so I'll go flat. It's not that deep. Well, not yet, anyway. It's right in the... What did I say before? I forget. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember either. Well, what was it? It reminded me of something. C. C. Saw. C. It's another reference. You're moitering the King's English. If anyone knows what that's from, <laughs> and you comment down below. Is this right? No. And if anybody knows what that's from. I don't know. Woo, look at that. See, saw, see, etc. It's too old. It's too old. I'll give you a hint. It's a very, very old, old film. And when I mean old, I mean black and white old. Oh, I don't know. See, I, I knew. I knew that that was there. Oh! This is why I wear gloves, just in case. <laughs> because you bleed. Am I bleeding? No, not yet. That's another reference. Oh. How bad is it? How bad is it, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Don't look. Just don't look. Oh, that feels good. It's like I'm getting massaged. <laughs> Trust me, it does not look like it feels <laughs> good. <sighs> There's the old one from before. Okay, here's the old bruise that I left them. And I'm wondering now if I can still get any more out in that area. No, not much. So... This is why we had him here on his side, because this one's a hard one to get when he's face down. As you're saying this, just watch the worst come well, out. Well, I'm trying. I am pushing, you know, to see. 
to get that crap underneath to come to the surface. Mm -hmm. You got to get that out of there. Ugh. Okay, but while we're here, let me see this wrist. Okay. I'm not going to crack it or anything. He's had, you can see the little scars here. He's had how many surgeries? I've had two. You don't need nerves are in here, what they could yeah, cause that's what, damage that to? Is, that is why they did, were, were not, like, very happy. They were very hesitant. I waited, like, four years for surgery or anything. Yeah, well, four years is... Yeah, it was uh, extensive. So is that what happened and you were in a cast for so long, or what? When they took out the cysts, so there was already an opening there. So they took the camera and put it... And navigated all the way over to where the uh, tendon was, and they saw that it was torn. While I was in Pensacola, uh, stationed at the um, at the School of Aviation, we were doing burpees, and I mean, I heard a pop, and then I don't know, I just didn't think of anything of it. And then slowly over time, it started becoming more painful as so. I was doing push-ups or any weight bearing. So I'm not sure if that contributed to it or maybe long term. Uh, so un I'm just gonna say your neck is gonna be the because you have a right atlas <laughs> and therefore that's why you have a right wrist problem. I mean, I feel like I have right <laughs> everything problem. Okay, now bring the shoulder down on your back. He's very. He's just kind of like doing whatever. I, I'm just a puppet. I know. Just this <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Ugh." laughs> All right. <laughs> He's like a limp noodle. <laughs> Sorry. Relaxation uh, is blessed. See a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. We, we, this is very boring. We have to have fun when we can. <laughs> People walking by are going to be like, what is she doing? She's shaving him? <laughs> They're witnessing the murder. <laughs> Oh no, the body! Oh no, that's another rough run. Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, the body! That show is such a great show though. <laughs> so you know which one it is? Dexter is my favorite. Oh, Dexter. Quoting a line from oh, Frozen. Oh, the, the other line, yeah. You can see, I mean look, you can see a perfect infraspinata, like the shape of it. <laughs> it's like a perfect triangle here. <laughs> it looks like a pizza. Looks like a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's right in the shape of your scapula. Well, this edge I can't get anything out of. And voila. Come on and sit up. All right. And you're like, no, you're going to move me. I am numb. <laughs> I cannot feel a thing. Honestly, I trust me, I can feel it, but... Compared to the pain that you're feeling. Ugh, it's like... I feel like I can just, like, turn it off. Not, like, the pain, but... The whole... Discomfort? The, yeah. Or the, like, emotion about it. Yeah, most people, he, I mean, I am digging very deep here. And he's not really even plunging. <sighs> Where that knot was. Oh, man. These are like little pockets of um, like like cysts coming out. Do you, do you ever get like acne on your neck? No. This right here, you can tell that you might get some pimples on your neck the next few days as this this metabolic waste. Cause they're like little pebbles underneath his skin. Not the red dots. They're like purple ones underneath. Oh man. It's you t I might get demonetized just for this. <laughs> <laughs> too graphic. It's too graphic. Oh, my goodness. Mm. All right, I think that's all I'm going to get. That's all I'm... No, we're just going to stop there. It's just so much. No. I, I did not um, expect that. See how this side, the redness is, for the most part, gone away, and this is what he's left with. And this side will eventually do that and everything else. But we're just trying to bring blood flow to the area by, and try to minimize those um, granulations that he has. This is one step. One step. 
I mean, I'm wondering. I'm so curious now. I'm always just like constantly sore, and I honestly I feel like you dug it out or dug most of it out. Uh, I feel more loose, not now? not nearly as uh, tight or much tension on my upper body. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna adjust your ears, okay? I know you've seen this one okay. on YouTube. You're like, no, the ears not cool. Or no, no, right? I've done it before. Oh, you've done. It. You probably. Yeah, I was gonna say for you to turn your body towards the camera. Okay. There we go. Again, he doesn't move unless I put him in that position. <laughs> Nope. Nope. Not without pulling your ear off. I don't need to do that. <laughs> that's, the, gonna... that's the fun part, though. No. <laughs> All right. Lean away. Good. Can, can you get the top one on this one? No, I could never get the tops. I can't. Not without, like... And I would pull extremely hard, and I'm just like, whatever. I give up. Mm-mm. No, that's not the way your ears are made. You're, they're not meant to do that. <laughs> uh, maybe once every two hours. What? Okay. Yeah, I, I feel. I definitely feel like an improve, like an improvement. Yeah, anyways. This is just a chiropractic device. Now, this is the smaller one. You want the larger one? I'm fine. You're okay with the smaller one? Because I do have a larger one. Is it supposed to hurt more with the smaller one? It hurts more with the bigger one. Okay. Which one's more effective? If you can do the larger one, it looks like this is too easy for you. So okay. I'm asking, like, can you go a little further? This is four days. I mean, you're a jump up from the small one to the big one. Oh, yeah, you can do it. We're creating a curve in his lower back here. This is for low back pain and mid back mobilization. He's feeling a lot of tension in between his shoulder blades. So we'll probably eventually move this higher till we get in between his shoulder blades. And he stays here for about five minutes and then he's done. Until next time, this is Dr. Brenda Mondragon, your Floridian chiropractor. Bye-bye.